Hey guys, Thomas here and welcome back to another video. So today I'll be teaching you the best settings for Streamlabs OBS in 2020 to get the best quality like 1080p, 60fps. But yeah, I've been using Streamlabs for like a couple years now and it's been really helpful to me. So you want to make sure you can get the best settings out of it as you can. But yeah, I hope you find this helpful and uh, let's get straight into it. Alright guys, so here is my Streamlabs. You want to go over to the bottom left right, the little cog. So general, um, make sure it, obviously English, stuff like that. Output, I've got none of these ticks. Source alignment, I've got enable. 10 i think i think that just helps putting your display capture your game capture like in the right place if that makes sense stream obviously just make sure you put your account in there output streaming make sure it's on advanced you need to have it on advanced because you won't have enough options to like configure your stream to the perfect like crisp quality you know but uh, audio track got one hardware nvenc this is really important if your cpu is a lot better than your graphics card then you want to make sure you have it on uh x264 you'll see on this little drop down here but if you have a better graphics card i use hardware nvenc new i've assigned it helps the best with my quality and cpu usage stuff like that in for streaming service encoder settings I, i've ticked that to be honest i don't really know what it does but it works constant bit rate uh for your rate control make sure it's 100 on that you need it to be like that otherwise your quality is going to be really bad uh bit rate i've got an 8000 i don't even know if youtube supports this but like i have it on 8000 and it works perfectly fine um but yeah i it's because i have really good internet i have like a 50 upload speed and about 200 megabyte download but yeah i found that helps a lot if you have a lot less uh upload speed maybe like 10 use something like 2500 and if you've got like uh, like 10 to 15 i'd recommend using something like 4000 okay yeah, guys i've got keyframe intervals on two i don't really know what that does but it works you know preset max quality and high uh, obviously i've got like a really beefy computer i'll leave my specs in the description so uh yeah i use that but it, you can just change it down like according to what, what you have audio that's basically personal preference you just put your microphone in there stuff like that video make sure it's 1080p on uh, uh, both of these like 1920 by 1080 uh, and next make sure you've got langs no sharp and scaling 32 samples that thing uh, just make sure it's not blurry and it's, you know, uh, sharp and crisp. Common FPS values for FPS type and for common FPS values, uh, it's 60 FPS. You can run 30 FPS if you want to, but I don't really like the look of that. It, it just looks a little meh. So, um, yeah. Moving on to hotkeys, it's personal preference. You do that all yourself. Advanced, make sure your uh, process priority is on high. That's what I have. Depending on how much you want Streamlabs to be taking over your computer, uh, I want to make sure my streams are, are like the best quality it can be, basically. So I've got it on high. And video NV12 color format, uh, color space, we've got 709 and partial. Not really sure what that does, but um, like, like I said, it works. <laughs> Some of this stuff you've just got to eyeball it, see what it looks like, but I, I found this works the best for me. Uh, Force GPUs, render device, I have that ticked audio that is what it is recording is what it is you know stuff like that you can watch stream delay on if you want to but i don't have that on uh stuff like that and there you go there are my stream labs uh, obs 2020 settings hope you found it helpful if you have drop a comment down below and subscribe hit that like button and i'll see you all in the next video bye guys